uh, because there are a lot of knockups. Um, it is going to be the Lissandra consideration instead. Does kind of go against what Zekka has been good at, which makes me less excited as Gragas for Zekka. So that's still melee, and they are going to take away the Nah. So Gragas should be able to survive at least oh, into LeBlanc. I but uh, this is... Yeah, they, uh, they haven't been that great uh, because they're missing specifically this player, Peanut, now on the top half of the map. Yeah, Kingen trying to charge up that Naba as the all-out does come through. There's the hop from Kingen. Clit's going to turn up and it's a disaster for Gen G. Or is it? Let's see what they can do. There's the Nara into the wall. The wallop's going to come down to follow it up. Peanut should be dying as Doran's actually kind of popping off. Clit's going to need to find the permafrost, and he does. Peanut's the one to escape. Clit throws out the happy bee. And it's like you get an early ocean, and you get three plates on your Ophelio suit. By the way, if he is going down, that like, how do you actually deal with Chovy jumping in? Oh, it's well. tough as, oh no. Just going to wander into a hook here. Um, nice play there from Delight as well, as life going to be told to cease trying to escape. And he will. As that from structures. They're also going to be able to get first turret blood here, so that money is going to go up even further. Turret to turret getting plates. And now we do have the oh, peanuts in the pit. Yeah. Um, he's going to have to flat uh, to get out of the oh, pit. Oh, delight. Yeah, hook is going to connect. Not a lot uh, to get from it as peanuts back in once again. All right. Um, that's a flash forward. Don't know about that one. Cease and assist comes through as Peanut will go down. And now the lantern can be taken by Doran. Trovi dives on in, trying to get some poke damage down as we even out. Because there is a monster fat Thelius on the enemy team. So life is, is, is kind of great for Trovi. And um, he just got another turret as well. Being fairly beefy as... Oh, Clit and Kingen. All right, they're looking for it. Glacial Prison comes down. The grand entrance going to be played very nicely, and the hook comes through for the Wallop. He's going to connect onto Peanut. And there's not a whole lot that Gen.G can do about it. Great pick from Hanwha. Zekker is coming into the mid lane as they know what they want. And uh, it's not Zekker to be hooked. As Kask comes on through and Zekker is hey! dead. Paze is going to be able to lock that one down as Viper starting to pop off in the fight as well. Collects himself one kill but now has to try and navigate four people. It's not going to work out as Glid is also going to go down. And Gen.G fighting around Paze looking so much better. Oh, Viper is trying so hard, man! Well, they're going to look for it. They might also get a Kingen, as they don't, but they do get the inner, like you were talking about. Zekka going to complete his... Yeah, he's just walking towards them. Uh, Trovi going to come on over as well, make sure that this inner turret goes down also. Try though. Yeah, and uh, Clid throwing an ultimate to Narnia is not really going to get it done. Cease and desist coming through here as Gragas trying to keep himself alive as Pays just going to destroy him. Kingen, not going to offer too much back there as we get a zoom, optimistic zoom there from Jonas Strong, but we still get a zoom anyway. So the hook is going to go moderately wide. As Nah comes through, connects onto the Cassante as Doran is uh, just not exactly too worried uh, about a turret. And in fact, oh! just bring him over, predicts it as he can walk through the base gate, but still, Pace just does so much damage. Presses Q with that Infernum and feels real good about it. And now the inhibitor turret is going to be taken down. Hanwha, you're going to have to try and look for a fight at some point. And it uh, needs to be while you have players that are alive. I think we just saw why Hanwha Life was permabanning a Thalios. It, it wasn't actually about pace. It was about making sure... And if they can oh. establish themselves, there is a possibility something could happen, but this is a haymaker. It's a Hill Mary, all or nothing here. Yeah, Choby still has that Banshees as Moonlight Vigil connects. Are they tanky enough? Pace just dives forward. He's burning down and Viper will secure the kill. It's a zoning Nar ultimate and Viper is now dead. Great knockups are going to come in, but Choby is still alive and no one is touching him. He can just do whatever he wants. Life is hiding as best he can. It's a horror movie for this Rakan. As Chovy is just walking past him, he'll connect the chains. And goodbye, Life. He says, oh, I missed you, buddy, from last year. But I'm sorry, I'm going to have to put you in the death chamber for a while while I win this game. And that is going to be it here. Gen G, yeah, they drop game number three. But game number four, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Completely decimating Hanwha Life here in this final game, Atlas.
Obliteration once again, and this time it was back to how they won the first two games, and that was with a better game plan. As Viper going to be taken out, he does take Delight with him, and this is not the end for Harmon Life Esports. They will be now down in the lower bracket to face off against KT next week. And maybe that is where we will see the Humble Life.